Yo, people. So, <laughs> got another one. So, <laughs> this is just crazy. This is crazy. Um, so I was like, I just found this one yesterday. I was thinking about was John Squire came on stage with Liam Gallagher at Nebworth. John Squire from the uh, Stone Roses. And um, I was thinking about, I wonder who John Squire is. And then yesterday I was listening to the radio and uh, a song of this band that I really like came on. And I suddenly went, oh, that's who John Squire is. So without further ado, I believe John Squire from the Stone Roses is also Jason Pierce of the band Spiritualized. And there he is there. Now, before he was in Spiritualized, he was in a band called Spaceman Free, hence the spacesuit he's wearing. He's known as Jason Spaceman. Spaceman Free, interesting uh, title there, Dream Weapon, and obviously Pyramid and Illuminati symbolism. And then we have uh, there with black and white duality and also a hypnotizing swirl, which is uh, mind control. And obviously uh, John Squire from the Stone Roses there. That's John Squire second from the left. Now, out of all those 90s Brit rock bands, in, like Oasis, um, The Verve, Stone Roses, and Spiritualized. Spiritualized were like my favorite. I see them the most times. Um, and they were more like late, late 90s. Um, they were an incredible band. And the reason why I like Spiritualized so much was because they didn't play the, the commercial game. They just made music and they made amazing music. And live, I see them about three times live, incredible. They had full gospel choirs. They had full orchestras. It was just an epic event. And in a time in Brit pop, Brit rock in the 90s, when people were making hit songs... They had a song called Cop Shoot Cop on this classic album, Ladies and Gentlemen Floated in Space, which was 17 minutes long. I mean, they did epic music. No one back then was doing songs that were 17 minutes long. So I bought this album twice, um, and I bought this CD version, which is uh, in a paracetamol-style case, which I still have unopened, um, like a bit of a collector's item. Uh, and, and that's what they did. Spiritualized did great art. They did great music. And they, the art, the way they put their music out, it was just really great art. So this was the single uh, Come Together. That was the, the cover for it. And this was a still from that vi uh, video, which was a great video and, and, and an amazing song, a, a great song. And live, they just were as epic. You know, it was an epic band and the, the, no one did it like them live. Uh, and then this album, Let It Come Down, another great album. And these two albums, like, you know, I see them live over these sort of late 90s, early 2000s. And yeah, I mean, there was just, as I said, a great experience. I really like this band. But if we put them together here, I mean, that is the same person. <laughs> they have done virtually nothing. I mean, the same eyes, the same haircut. Like, maybe they've done a little bit something to the nose. Maybe they've made his face a little bit fat, or maybe that's just age. But basically, this guy, Jason Pierce from uh, Spiritualized, was known to have a her so called heroin habit. Um, and John Squire was known to be sort of more uh, withdrawn. Well, basically, they're both withdrawn. Um, but like, he, was, he did the painting and was just a bit more sort of art rock. So, yeah, I mean, that's Jason Pierce. That's John Squire. That's Jason Pierce. That's John Squire. That's Jason Pierce. That's John Squire. So, you know, that's so similar. Jason Pierce used to sit down a lot, wore more shades. A um, bit more rock cooler than John Squire. It was a bit more, I guess, art geeky. But Jason Pierce used to sing, and uh, John Squire obviously only played the guitar, so easy to hide themselves uh, with with no vocals. 
But look at these steals I took. That's John Squire from the side. And that is Jason Pierce from the side. So he looks a little bit more disheveled because he's supposedly a recovering heroin addict. You know, but that's so, they look so the same, it's ridiculous. So yeah, this is blatant. Um, I've not gone deep on this one because I don't need to because it's so obvious. And also just encouraging people to, to use their intuition. What do you see first before doubts come in? They have different accents, you know, they're slightly different characters because that's what they do. But look how similar they are. It's ridiculous. Now, there is a third person that I believe that, that ties in with these two that I'm not going to mention or talk about because I'm going to do a video at some point on them. Uh, and uh, th that's a bit more mind-blowing because it ties them all in together and he's a bigger sort of known artist. So uh, I'll reserve that one. But yeah, I mean, to me, it's blatant, 100%. Just getting used to seeing these people now and expecting them to turn up as people that I've already known. These two I know quite well. Um, and they've turned out to be the same person. So yeah, it's craziness. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Peace.